Hey guys, I know it's Monday. I don't have to think about it. It's Monday because I'm off. Uh, oh. Okay, a couple things I got to tell you right off the bat. I have been meaning to tell you. And I am not really a complainer, so to say. I just deal with stuff and don't complain too much. But this is getting bad. And let me see how many weeks I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks and two days left. That's a lot of time to be in pain. And I literally have lost a lot of function. Um, well, I'll say a lot of strength, not a lot of function. I've lost a lot of strength in this hand. So I am looking forward to my surgery. Okay. The other thing is last night I had a dream. <laughs> so funny. Um, I dreamt that Judge Judy was my dentist. <laughs> and she was actually Judge Judy and a dentist. And so when she was like, I was in the chair and stuff and I would say stuff, I would be like, but you usually say, and she'll be like, no, I am not Judge Judy right now. I am Dr. Shineland DDS, whatever. And uh, it was so funny. It was just so funny. Uh, but it was scary because I think she was a terrible dentist. <laughs> she was not comforting at all. She was scary. So, um, anyway, I thought that was funny. Oh, man, what else? There was something else I wanted to tell you, and I kept forgetting. Okay, well, this morning, I am working on these. And I'm going to put, and this is not my idea, but I'm going to put a little punch at the top. And I'm going to use this little stuff here. And I'm going to tie these around the little containers. Because people will not know what the marshmallows are if I don't put a sign that says marshmallows. Or crushed peppermints. Or white chocolate chips. Do I have one that just says regular chocolate chips? I do. And then I have stir sticks. Because people won't know that those are stir sticks. And cinnamon sticks. Because nobody knows what a cinnamon stick is. But they're cute. And this one I'm putting on the little... Uh, container that holds the hot chocolate all right because I found some free printables on Pinterest and I'm enjoying them I have made a lot of Valentine cards so when I'm done talking to you I have to do like four videos of Valentine cards and I'm gonna get dressed in a little bit and I'm gonna go to Tuesday morning because um, my card lady is shopping and I need to make more Valentine cards. And then I've got to get on Easter because I don't know. Let's see, March. I'm going to be in bad shape in March. I don't know how much crafting I'll be able to do. I mean, I'm hoping because the cast is going to be like this. I think it may come a little further. I'm not certain. But he did say it will immobilize my thumb, so I'll still have use of all the fingers. Um, so I think I'll still be able to craft. And the really cool thing is, is I'm going to be home for like a week to 10 days. Uh, that's a lot of crafting. So, except that my friend Linda will be here and she will not want me to craft. But she will be at the shop for at least four or five hours, so... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read comments, 
and then I'm going to go shower and do my hair and put makeup on because I don't like how this looks as much without makeup. All right, Jenna Mama. Hi, Rena. Savannah's hair is pretty, but seems like a lot of upkeep, and she doesn't mind that. She is like a hair guru. I have a hard time with my gray upkeep, so I couldn't imagine so many colors at once. LOL. I'm even more in love with your coffee bar now. It looks so inviting. Happy your buildings are coming together, and you will soon rock it out in there. Does Rihanna have one bestie to invite to her party? Maybe. No. She lives 90 miles south of here in another metropolitan area. So she has no friends here at all. Um, so I may invite, you know, the teenager that lives behind us um, does watch her from time to time on Saturday. So I may invite her and her mom to come. We'll see. But, you know, you've had so many big parties with lots of people and um, I don't know. And the week before that, we're having a Super Bowl party. So I'm just going to be kind of partied out. But she's still going to get her princess. And it was so funny. I asked her a few weeks ago. I said, so, Rihanna, are you getting too old to have princesses at your parties? And she was like, no. <laughs> but she won't let me brush her hair because she's a big girl. And, you know, telling me that she wakes up to an alarm clock. Yeah. All right. Debbie, you'd say, pink hair. I love pink hair. Didn't honey turn down going with you to the Donna and Marie concert there in Colorado? Something you, something you didn't go and you were pretty upset about it. Yes, I saw the orb. So cool. I saw several orbs when I watched it back, actually. I'm not sure if that one was an orb. It did kind of look like a feather, but I did see a round, obvious orb. At the beginning of me talking on Saturday afternoon. Yes. We were supposed to go see Donnie and Marie. And honey was being a butt. And we had an argument. And he made me miss Donnie and Marie. So he seems perfect. But he's not completely perfect. He's just pretty perfect. <laughs> yeah. He's way more perfect now that he's the general manager. It has really changed him, and he is like a different person. Um, Katie S., I had to laugh when you were at Starbucks. I didn't even know they sold tea. As a tea drinker myself, I would have gone for the black tea and honey. Did Savannah like the tea? I don't know if she liked it. She felt like crap. She, didn't, she just like took it and didn't talk to me. <laughs> I did look back over the video when you mentioned the orb to me. It looked like a feather or something. Yeah, it did. Um, I also, But there's not like feathers flying around in here, so I don't know. Um, I also noticed you had a lot of things flying around you, but it could have been dust. Are you suggesting I don't clean my house? I don't. I have a cleaning lady for that. And the only thing she does in here is vacuum. <laughs> I'm like, just vacuum in there. Because she's like, ah. Um, but seriously, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like dust. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Coffee bar looks great. And love the snow. We're in for another week of hot weather here. I don't like hot weather. I don't like summertime. It's no fun. So that's kind of when it rains, but I like snow. Debbie Graffius. Mmm, Savannah's hair. The color is pretty. Not really my cup of tea. But for those who can pull it off, I say go for it and enjoy. I hear you. I am the same way when it comes to learning, even board games. Tell me how to do it. Don't hand me an instruction sheet. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not with you on The Walking Dead, but The Masked Singer? I thought the hints for the peacock were leading us to Donnie, too. Love the coffee bar. I'm telling you. 
I know. This girl knows. That's Donnie. Catherine Stewart. Wow, on the hair. I love all your farmhouse decor and your coffee bar is so awesome. You inspired me the first time you started yours to spiff up my coffee station. The buildings are coming along great. Can't wait to see some of the projects y'all will be doing. I know. Right now it's just like, here's the building. Here's the organization. Where's the creations? It's still going to be a little while, I think, before we get to that point. Probably at least two weeks. At least two weeks before we'll start that. Okay. Um, this year went by so fast. I share the same birthday month as Rayanna. Your dogs are beautiful. And I just had my beagle, Sydney Spade. And it calmed her just a very little. We'll have a great week. Thank you, Catherine Stewart. Charlene Chapman. I like her hair. It actually suits your business since you guys do that for dogs too. We don't do that. We don't do that. <laughs> your coffee bar is gorgeous. I love me some vanilla latte. Take care, Rena. Maryville 55. Big orb. Wow. This morning, and I don't usually do this, I added some salted caramel syrup, which is zero calorie. It's the skinny brand of syrup, and it's really good. Really good. Selena Lankford. Hey, Rena. I think Savannah's hair is cute. I love your coffee bar. You're a great interior decorator, and you're so talented. I am, I am like feeling more like interior decorator than I am crafter these days. And honey's like, cause I was like, for a while it's panicking. I had no mojo for in here. And he's like, just go with the mojo you got. <laughs> anyway, um, I am wanting to do my house in farmhouse and shabby chic in my craft room. I wish we lived closer so you could give me some suggestions. I wish I lived closer too. I wish I had crafty people in my life that were here that I could go, hey, let's go, let's go um, craft store hopping today. Or let's go to the, to the antique store, you know, anyway. Um. I love it when you do craft room tours because I need some ideas doing mine. By the way, I don't care how shaky your camera is. I never miss your videos. I already like, feel like I know you. And I love that. And I want to know you guys too. So thank you for commenting, Selena Lankford, because I don't remember saying that name. Have you commented before? Your picture looks familiar. But anyway, um... You always put me in a good mood. Thank you for that. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for making me smile. God bless you and your family. Selena Lankford, Lincoln, Lincoln, Alabama. Is that anywhere near Greenbow, Alabama? <laughs> All right, Flower Junkie. She left two comments. Enjoyed watching the snowfall. This West Texas girl never gets to enjoy snow or grass. Those are things I get to see in picture books, LOL. I used to live there, too. I understand completely. I'm sorry. Move here. But people would say don't move here because there are so many transplants. But I've been here 18 years. So I figure at 20 years, maybe I can get grandfathered in. <laughs> she also says love Savannah's hair. Amanda Wireman, huge progress from the camera. Good job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Looks great, if you ask me. Definitely seen the orb. Kind of cool. You've seen it in real time. I know. Love the buildings. Really coming along great. So excited for you. Absolutely adore the, adore the coffee bar. Looks awesome. I wish I could come over f and have a cup of coffee with you. That would be amazing. I know. I wish you guys could. I, I have no friends like that, you know, that I get together with. Um, even my bestie down in Texas, we worked together, but we didn't 
we didn't really get together. Uh, look how squinty. I need my new, my new glasses. Um, we didn't really get together and like go to the movies or go shopping. We just, that, that wasn't how we were. We talked on the phone a lot. And then here, usually the people that end up being my friends are girls that work for me. And then once they leave, we stay in touch and contact. We talk um, on the phone. We text. But I don't have anybody that um, I really get together with. And that makes, sometimes it makes me sad because I'm always running around by myself. And I wished I had a girlfriend. So anyway, where am I at? Uh, can't believe Rihanna's birthday is right around the corner. Wow, my little guy just turned 14 on the 16th. Time flies. Thanks for the smile today. All right. Joy McCoy. I love saying that. Joy McCoy. <laughs> yes, I saw the orb. Dana K. Hey, Rena, your camera's a lot better. I'm with you. It's a no for me on the hair. Most employers don't allow unnatural hair colors, meaning no extreme red, pink, blue, or green hair. Well, I have to disagree with you, Miss Dana K, because when I go to Walmart, it's actually unusual if I see someone with normal hair working there. Um, unfortunately, I go to lots of stores where it is Very common to see bizarre hair colors. What you must remember, and I don't, do you live in Texas? I think you live in Texas. Um, this is a very liberal state. If that tells you anything. So, there's lots of piercings, lots of crazy hair colors, lots of crazy hair styles. I don't know. To me, and I love Savannah to death. I do. I think she looks absolutely beautiful as a blonde. Um, my personal feeling is when you do bizarre things with your hair, it's like you're, there's something lacking that you have to do that to draw attention and I think if you learn to love yourself you don't have to do crazy things like that you love yourself and you could do normal colors I mean like a color I don't know she had a really pretty one time where she had blonde on the top and she had black just underneath and that seems crazy because that's not natural, but I loved that. I loved it. Um, she even did redhead, like a normal Auburn redhead one time, and I liked it, but I still have always thought she should have been born a blonde because when she has the blonde, it just goes with her skin color, and it's just my personal preference. Um, but that's the thing. is She worked at Walmart for a while. And they allow crazy colors. And they're corporate. So, God, Mom, why are you being like that? So, what I had told her when she asked me if she could dye it red, which I thought she meant the auburn red. And then I got this, not so red, but more fuchsia, was if you maintain it, if it doesn't get all faded and ugly gross, and you style your hair... I will deal with it. I got fuchsia. So, and Amy supports her a million percent with the hair. So, I'm like outnumbered. Um, 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 let's see. It says she has the perk of having her mom as her boss, LOL. She definitely does not consider that a perk. <laughs> Let me tell you, she does not. All right. I really hope you get to see Donnie before he retires. Well, I've been watching, I've been binging Donnie interviews this week, and it doesn't seem like he's going to retire anytime soon, so I think I'm safe. But I did mention Las Vegas to Honey 
uh, Saturday night. And he was like, you want to go? And I was like, yes. So I think that's in our future. Uh, the building looks awesome and I can't wait to see, to see you start cranking out the goods. Have a great week, Dana. Denise Tell. Hi, Denise. Um, hi, Rena. I think your videos are great. I truly like the camera in front of you because I feel like you're talking with your YouTube friends. The shaking of the camera is not bad. I hope you don't lose any subscribers because of the shaking. You are a great teacher and YouTube friend. Thank you for sharing your life with us. You are awesome in my book. Thank you, Denise. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video where I'm giving away that teddy bear journal. I need to do that drawing um, and see where you're from because they don't remember. Susan Pruitt. Wow. Bright pink. She's braver than me. Well, yeah, she's in her 20s still. Looks pretty. Yes, there was an orb. It was like a long bar shape. Oh, how I love your coffee bar. I made one before Christmas and everyone is still loving it. I'm going to keep it up year round because people still drink coffee in the summer, especially if it's foo-foo coffee and they could make iced coffee. And then I could put like a thing, like when we have a party, I could put like a big thing with lemonade over there and it could be all you know all kinds of beverages i think what do you guys think um they are so much fun i keep finding cool things to add to it the shop is looking great have an awesome week i know i keep finding stuff to add to it too and i'm running out of room kim ross aussie paper crafter loves savannah's hair that snow looks amazing it's hot and burnt and dry here at the moment it's the middle of summer and no rain we had a few bad fires not far from here. The air is dry and smoky. Yuck. No problems with the camera that I noticed. Love the coffee machine. Talise Bartlett. Okay, Talise, are you new? Because I don't remember ever saying that name before. And that's a pretty name. Talise, I like it. Coffee bar is perfect and camera is not moving. But then I never noticed it moving in the first place. <laughs> LOL. Pink hair is awesome. Lori Hill. Lori, you've been quiet for a while. Love the coffee bar. Your buildings look awesome. So close to finishing them. I think the hair suits Savannah. And as a Canadian, I hate snow. <laughs> I love it. You guys know. Paula Hatton Vines. Sorry, no on the hair. I think she's the only one that basically said, no. And she was the first one to comment. So I was like, uh-oh, how's this going to go? Because Savannah was really thinking you guys were going to, like, support her. And you have. Um, I will watch all the rest through tomorrow. Up early. Up early, early. Cancer appointment tomorrow. Ugh. Big orb. Wow. Angels visiting. Well, Paula, I hope that things are going well for you today. Because you're probably, I know you're in California. So, and it's 8, 10 here, so it's 6, 10 there, or maybe 7, 10. But anyway, I wish you all the best. All right, on that note, I'm going to go, and I will catch up with you guys, hopefully, when I have a nicer um, makeup face. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're over at the Cocoa Bar. Here's the marshmallows. And here's my marshmallow tag. Let me see how this is going to go. Um, so I want to be able to tie the bow in the front. So these are just the little dollar store. Hmm. Maybe I do like this, where I tie it on first. And then I know somebody's probably going to be grossed out. I just 
did that, but sometimes in order to get it through that little hole, and these are, these are gonna be mine, so it's okay. As you hear in the background is Sheba gnawing on her bone that I baked for her last night. Okay. So, marshmallows. These are actually kind of big. I'm not sure if I like them this big. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to make them smaller. But this is my little hot chocolate bin, and I'm just going to put that, like, maybe I'll, ooh, maybe I'll put a hole in a hole, and I'll just tie it around. I think that's what I'll do, because I think that, that's going to look really cute. But, yeah, these are kind of big for some of these. Maybe I'll see if I can find some bigger containers. Ooh. Yeah, because, see my chocolate chips thing, if I put that on it, it's kind of big. I like being able to still see what's in it, you know? So anyway, I just thought I'd show you this. I forgot, did I show you that I got a big thing of honey for ladies who like honey in their tea? All right. Bye. It's Monday still, and I went ahead and took a shower. Oh, my hair always gets, I don't know where it gets caught on these glasses, but I'm surprised I have any hair left right here at all. Anyway, um, it is bright, and there are very few clouds in the sky today, but we're having a big storm coming in, so I'm going to go get some errands done. Oh, better. I'm going to go get some errands done. I just thought I'd come and say, hey, I did remember the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, and that is I started watching The Daily Diver, and it is a dumpster diving husband and wife duo, and um, I can't believe stuff they're finding in Michael's, Kirkland's, Joann's, um, Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, they have a place called Five Below, wherever they're at. And yeah, the stuff these companies are throwing away. And some of them are even taking spray paint and spray painting the stuff so that nobody will want it when they go dumpster diving. And my philosophy is like, well, if you're just going to throw it away, what difference does it make if they take it out of the dumpster? I don't know, but I am shocked. <laughs> I was showing a, I was showing honey and telling him about it. And he was like, do you want to start dumpster diving? <laughs> I was like, no, I do not. But I'm fascinated. So... Um, I subscribed to the channel, and I am just going to be fascinated vicariously through their videos. And, yeah. But, tell me what you think. I mean, they're finding, like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. And some stores don't, you know, spray paint it or mess it up. And other stores do. Um, like... They had, oh, they found an Xbox in one dumpster. They found it, and it was good. And then one dumpster, they found pots and pans. And one of the pans was messed up, but the whole rest of the set was perfectly fine. I mean, like a $200 pots and pans. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to go hope to find some goodies for the coffee bar. I need some clear containers at ARC. I'm going to ARC and Goodwill. So I'm out of here. I'll let you guys know what I find. Talk to you later. Bye. Guys, it's still Monday. I'm back from shopping. So 
Do you want to see what I got? All right. So I went to a bunch of different places. And this is what I got at Tuesday morning. I got a mat to go under Shiva and Rizzo's bowl because Shiva spills a lot. And this will help me just like pick it up and slide it back in your bowl. So I got that. That was $4.49 at Tuesday morning. I also picked up these at Tuesday morning because I'm going with this black and white checkered theme. These were $4.99 for three dish towels. Now yesterday, Honey and I went to Sam's and we got a whole bunch of coffee flavors, like the bottles of flavor you pour in. But I found more. And these were at Tuesday morning, $3.99. This one's iced cinnamon roll. Maple bourbon pecan. <gasps> go, 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 go. Yep. That one's going to be my favorite. Um, chocolate coconut macaroon. Not everybody's going to like that one, but I still want to add it for $3.99. Peanut butter cup. I do not like peanut butter flavored stuff, but I thought there's going to be a lot of people who are going to want peanut butter cup. Probably my husband. And I found this die for $3.99. Super cute. All right, that's Tuesday morning. Um, I'm going to show you this. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I got this because there's a space over at the coffee bar. And I thought if the syrups were elevated... It would kind of look cute. I don't know if it doesn't work. I'll probably take this back. I also got this because I have several different flavors of cocoa packets and I wanted to separate them out because right now they're all together and I have a lot of them. So I thought I could totally fill this up and it would be cute. So there's that. Um, I also picked up some Valentine's stuff at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale, 50% off. So these were $1.50. And I picked these up. I don't think these were on sale. Chalkboard tags, also for the cocoa bar. I picked up 10 of these at the dollar store because everybody loves them. 10, 10 of these, so $10. All right, then I found some stuff at the thrift store. They were having a sale today because it's Martin Luther King Day. So only the ARC store was on sale. So this was $1.99. This was not on sale because the yellow tags were not on sale. But I thought it's a real pretty jar and I would use that on the cocoa bar. These two I got for the the building. And I'm going to take these ugly ribbons off. Somebody thought they'd put ribbons on them and make them cute, but they're way cuter without ribbons. And this is a chalk, a little chalkboard on the front. So these were $1.99. They were 50% off, so I got them for a buck a piece. All right. These could even, I could even resell these. Look at it says, s'mores. Um, all right. 
So I also found this at ARC. This was marked $2.99, but it was 50% off, so I got it for $1.50. I needed some larger um, glass containers. And I specifically went looking for a set of these. Only these were at Goodwill and these were pricey. This was six dollars. Right there. Five ninety-nine. And I not only found one. I found two, only this one doesn't have the rubber thing around it, but that really doesn't bother me at all. So, in addition to those, I found two smaller ones that are the same. A whole set. I'm a happy woman. All right. That's what I got. And I'm going to redo the cocoa co coffee tea bar and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. So that's what it looks like right now. We'll see what it looks like here in a few minutes. Guys, I am done, except for adding labels. I'm done. Seriously, I swear. I mean it for real. <laughs> okay, so the little bench worked really good for the syrups. So you can see all the flavors. So you can see the caramel, French vanilla, original hazelnut. This is the fattening French vanilla. And the fattening caramel, the red is fattening, the blue is the zero calorie. Then we've got the apple bourbon pecan, the iced cinnamon roll, the coconut, chocolate co coconut macaroon, the salted caramel, the peanut butter cup, and the Baileys. So that looks really good. In this largest um, glass jar, I put the, whatever those cookie things are. And then I have the honey back here, the marshmallows. I have peppermints, white chocolate chips. This is like Heath, Heath toffee stuff. And those are those Andy's mints, chocolate chips. I will get some more of those. This is uh, uh, sweetener, this is real sugar, and this is butterscotch. And over here, we have the, you know, coffee creamers, the tea bags, the different flavors of cocoa. And then over here, I didn't show you the other day, but I had gotten a, a container with chai tea and um, so I just, it's called Mystic Chai, and I put it in this container. It's one scoop to a hot cup of water. And then I have regular coffee back here and the regular coffee machine. I'm hoping once we learn to use this, like I've said probably several times, that we can get rid of this one and make a little bit more space and it won't be quite as crowded. But... I totally dig it. And it's, it's like over the top. I get it's over the top, but oh well, it's over the top. <laughs> anyway, we're having a Super Bowl party and we're having Rihanna's uh, tea party. So it'll be super nice to have it. And like I said, I'm going to have it year round. You know, I drink tea year round. And I know people drink coffee year-round. They might not drink cocoa year-round, but maybe if they had a really nice coffee bar to come to, they would. And I put stirs up there. Now, 
And I told you earlier these were kind of big. They're not going to be as bad on these bigger containers. They're kind of big for those. So I got white chocolate chips, chocolate chips. I don't need hot chocolate. I don't have cinnamon sticks. I guess I could hang this from here. They're not sticks, but they're spoons. And crushed peppermint. Maybe I just put crushed peppermint like right on top like that. We'll see. But anyway, Honey's going to totally dig that because that was his big thing. We've got to have the syrups. <laughs> Day morning to you guys. It is beautiful out. We're supposed to have some more snow tomorrow. Yay! Um, yeah, let me show you what I'm working on. I'm working on a project involving this. Yes, this. Isn't it cute? I think you guys are going to like it. So, there were some things that we did not talk about from a vlog that we probably need to talk about. So, I'm going to go back a little bit of ways. And if you hear snoring, it is Rizzo. She snores. Let's see. And I think the consensus was most of you liked Savannah's hair. There were a few of you on board with me that were like, mm, no, I'm too conservative for that. And the other day I was at ARC thrift store and there was a gal there. And I mean, she totally looked like a mom. I don't know how I labeled her a mom, but she did look like a mom to me. And she had kind of long hair about maybe the middle of her back. And the top part of it to about here was blonde, and the rest was like blue. Blue? I can kind of see pink or purple, but blue? I don't know. All right. Everybody seems happy. We're back to this view. I'm happy, too. Uh, I'm glad the camera isn't... Is it? Kind of looks like it is to me. Okay, maybe I should just talk like this and then I won't move at all and the camera won't move at all. But that ain't going to happen. All right. Carla Keenan says, Great vlog as usual. Thanks for keeping me company today as I'm crafting by the sea. Yes. I brought my crafty supplies with me on vacations. Love it. Thanks, Carla. Wow. <laughs> Jenna Mama. Hi, Rena. Watched and going back to comment. I prefer your old way of viewing. Love the once a month giveaway idea and to have a handmade item from you. Happy you're getting your building started on. Um, the coffee bar is such a great idea and I'm loving the new decor. Your mojo is still there. You're just getting your house in order as is all. Love you. You're so adorable. <laughs> That's not something that I'm called on a very frequent one basis, but thank you. I actually added a little more to the coffee bar with signage this morning, and I want to show you. Um, Rizzo seems like she's snoring so loud. Um, Crafty Kim says, I think it's a setting on your phone. It follows your movement, and it's not the table shaking. I think maybe let me know, guys. I Some of you commented last video and said that they didn't notice anything. Um, Denise Sparts, love the view back to normal. Thank God you changed back. You look more comfortable now. Denise Tell, I love this angle. Barbara Harold, camera looks good. Charlene Chapman, smiley faces. Um, Amanda Weirman, P.S. P.S.S. I had meant. Okay, never mind. You, you know what I'm talking about, Amanda. Christine Lazara Lazarides. Your camera still moves when your head moves, and it's it was trying to focus at different times. I like your original angle, but do what you like. I think the camera is too high. 
where it has you looking up, not into it. Sorry, that's what I see. Okay, so we're back to normal. Um, Kimmy D, I'm interested in the wedding laces. Kimmy D, send me an email because um, I'm just tired of de-stashing. But send me an email and I can send you some pictures and stuff. Kim Ross, Aussie Paper Crafter. So, no Doberman puppies for Shiva? I hope having her spayed helps her settle down. No, no puppies for Shiva. Uh, what a good girl Angel is looking after your mom, chasing the pug away. <laughs> I love it. LOL. Um, I got a text message from my sister the other day. She's like, just had dinner with mom. It's so cute how she interacts with Angel. And she said, um, I called her the next day and I said, can you tell me more about what you mean? And she was like, well, let me tell you this. She goes, um, mom's not using the walker anymore. She had this little rolling walker thing that she used inside the house. And, um, she said, I think it's because Angel's getting her up and down, you know, letting her in and letting her out and feeding her. And uh, she said, I think that the mo moving around more is really helping her not need the walker anymore. So, yay. So happy. So, 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 so happy. Um, okay. Okay. You'll have to tell us as, as how Angel's doing. Love the fireplace in the dining room. Looks so cozy. That's awesome news that Alan is enjoying his new job position. Yeah. So last night he got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And he comes back in. He gets in bed. And he goes, that's bullshit. And I was like, what? Because I'm like, it's the middle of the night. You just went to the bathroom. What do you mean that's bullshit? And he goes, I got an email that said my, because yesterday was his day off. I got an email saying that my, uh, staff didn't close down the store properly in the computer. So he was an unhappy camper. <laughs> uh, Amanda Wireman, P.S. You're not a bad person for getting frustrated with the new puppy. That's normal. When we got our lab, I couldn't stand her. <laughs> I love to look at her, but couldn't stand her. Now she's the best thing we could have ever added to our family. It's the puppy stage, which I know you know that just got to have patience. Last night, patience was wearing thin. So Honey eats his dinner and immediately falls asleep. Always happens. He always says, oh, I'll put her, I'll, I'll, I'll put her in her bed before I go to sleep. Never does. So I get up. I have to put her in her bed. She, she jumps back on the bed. After I go around and get all tucked in, then she jumps back on the bed. So I have to get up, go around. Put her back in her bed. And then she went to the gate at the door, which means she needs to go outside. So I was like, shit. So I got up. I went and let her outside. I brought her back in. And it's a hassle because once she goes outside, because it's cold. It was like 10 last night. She's real perky and awake because it's 10 degrees outside. And I had to make her go get back in her bed, which was kind of hard. And... She kind of walked around the room, and then she finally did go lay down. But then I woke up a couple hours later, and boom, she's there in the bed. And the thing is, is honey doesn't wake up. We could have 10 burglars in the house, and he would not wake up. It's frustrating. But one of the things I wanted to talk about, and I don't know which video it was, but I talked about spanking her. And there were several people, not just one, several, that seemed to a little bit panic that I wanted to spank the dog. And this is my philosophy. You guys know I'm a conservative Christian, right? Okay. So when I was growing up, I don't recall more than maybe three to five spankings. And the reason is I'm the type of person that I think my parents learned that telling me they were disappointed in me was far worse than a spanking to me. Not everybody's like that. Uh, Shane was not like that. Shane needed a spanking. Shane was, Shane was equal to a Doberman puppy. He was just 
the naughtiest little thing. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> and I've told him that he knows. He knows. Uh, there was one morning he didn't want to go to school, so he ran out into the woods and hid in the woods out back of our house because we lived out in the country. We had rattlesnakes there. <sighs> Thank God he didn't get bit by a rattlesnake. But... Anyway, I think there are some kids and there are some dogs that aren't going to relate to I'm disappointed in you. Rizzo is one dog that I personally can't remember past six months that she's ever gotten a spanking. Now, Honey spanked her one day. She peed in the living room right in front of us and he freaking lit into her and he lit into her like you would a large breed. And I got so mad. I was like, I don't have a problem with you yelling at her or swatting her on the butt. But for God's sake, she's just a little dog. She weighs 17 pounds. We went round and round about that. Um, but I do believe that there are certain circumstances where spanking is necessary. And... Um, I'm sure I spanked Savannah. Probably not as much. Savannah was really a pretty good kid. Um, so anyway, that's my story about spanking. The dog and the kids. Uh, let's see. A lot of you just talked about how you didn't like the new view. <laughs> and... Um, I don't understand about making you feel queasy or sick from the movement. Because I watched a movie the other night, Quarantine. It was a scary movie. And it was filmed like the Blair Witch Project. And it was crazy like all over the place. I didn't start feeling queasy until the last 10 minutes. But I mean, that's like really radical. That's not just like... A little bit of, you know, just a little bit of movement. That's like all over the place. Anyway, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm lucky. Um, yeah, some of you suggested I buy a camera instead of using my phone. I know how to use my phone. I know how to upload to YouTube from my phone. So if any of you want to fly to Denver and go with me to purchase the camera, I'll purchase the camera. And then come back to my house and teach me how to get that video from my camera to my computer. And then how to edit it because my editing software is on my phone. And teach me all of that stuff. I am happy to welcome you to my home to stay. I will pick you up from the airport. I have a really nice guest room. I have a fabulous coffee bar. And um, we'll have a great time. So just let me know if you're interested in that. <laughs> so there. <sighs> All right. That's enough for, ooh, we're at 12 minutes, 34 seconds. Um, I guess that's enough of that for today. We have 14 today. I'm happy with 14. 14 works for me. Um, it is January. It's a little, you know, it started out gangbusters. I've had a few Januaries where it's just been like, Balls to the wall the whole month. But this week, they're calling for snow tomorrow. And we'll see. Um, we'll see. But right now, I'm going to work on this project. And I am going to show you my little signage for the coffee bar, which I had fun. I had fun, but it was frustrating, too, because I was trying to do, like, chalkboard art. And I obviously am not a great chalkboard artist although I'd love to be because I love chalkboard art super so much um, we got our computer fixed at the shop all is good but I did buy new phones for the shop and my phone guy came yesterday he disconnected all the old phone stuff and then when he went to put in the phones I bought he was like um These phones don't go together because I bought the handset and then the guy at Best Buy was like, we don't have the, 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 you know, the extra ones. 
So we'll have to order those and send them to you. So I was like, okay. And they came and they're obviously not the right ones. So I'm working with one phone at the shop. I'm frustrated as all get out. And um, yeah. See you later. Bye.